Okay, we've got a couple of different things that I wanted to discuss with you. So just bear with me. Okay, the first is this. Now, I found this last night really late. And YouTube has made it a little bit difficult for me to sort through videos. But I did a video when Megan was pushing this dog away from her. I don't, I'm not sure if it was the exact same dog, but I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know if prime ministers have changed, but I've seen these pretty big dogs in the president's house. I don't know if that's the proper word to say um, in Ireland. I know where it is. I haven't, I think I've driven past there or something of that nature. I don't know if you can drive past. I just know, you know, I've been there. Um, I know where it is. Uh, I did a conference at Trinity College, but I also, you know, toured Trinity College years previous. So I know Ireland pretty good. Um, I was working there for a little bit of time. Well, okay. So anyway, we've got this. So I just want you to know I am familiar with a lot of different things. I don't, I don't know if many of you guys, if you're new or just stopping by the channel, know that. Okay. Looks beautiful there right now. Um, we still have snow that has not melted. Okay. So here is uh, Joe Biden. Okay. So anyway, what I was going to say is previous back in, 2018 when Megan went over to Ireland and was wearing fall clothes in July because she was promoting the fall line on her website right after she married Prince Harry while she was supposedly pregnant <laughs> because, you know, she had an immaculate conception immediately um, after the wedding, you know, a la Princess Diana. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, anyway, I digress. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this, there were two dogs, if, if I remember, and she was like, didn't want them on her dress because she needed to merch it back out. You know, I don't know if that's the reason why, but she didn't really want to pet the dogs. And then a year later, um, Princess Catherine and Prince William went, to the same place and had the same pictures taken where the, where Kate was just loving this dog up, you know, and it was just like natural. It wasn't like, it would be sort of like, I'm kind of that way with cats. Um, um, but you know, how can I put it? You know, I had a cat, poor little cat who had cancer. I had to put down and it after that seemed like the cat world was pissed off at me. But I have a way with cats where their owners would say, my God, I've never seen this cat take to someone so easily. She usually or he usually hates people, other people, strangers. Um, so, you know, I... You know, I don't, I'm leery of sticking my hand right near their, their mouth because I, I did that once. The owner said, pet the dog, pet the dog. So I did. And the dog bites me. <laughs> but, uh, which she was pretty weird. She, she, okay. It's a, that, okay. So I've, I've been bitten when I, so I usually say to make sure the dog is okay with me petting it and then. I'll pet it, but see, I've had cats. I haven't had dogs. So, but you know, I've been friends with dogs or you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, my sister has had many different dogs that, you know, you know, uh, just, you know, we love each other. I let you love them up, but you know, when you own dogs and you have, you're very close to your dogs, um, you, you know how to react and you have a good vibe with them. Now he just put down two German shepherds or a German shepherd 
you know, as soon as he got to the White House, he just is like, fuck it, I don't have time for this shit. And he gets rid of the dog. Because, and, and it was biting Secret Service. A huge German Shepherd. It just is, was kind of weird that he was even, he did a interview once when he was VP where he let this huge German Shepherd come in the room. It was just kind of weird. He's, he's a strange, pervy guy. Now watch, watch this. Hopefully I can get the volume up. Here's Joe. Look at this. I'm going to swear. Okay. Look at this fucking moron. This dog doesn't like him and he's just going, Hey, why don't you like me? You know, he would have kicked the dog. Look at this. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch. <laughs> look at, look, he's just, he's like lurching at the dog. And the dog is like, what the fuck is this old? And he has to wear the sunglasses outside because he still thinks he's like 30. What a dumb fuck. I'm sorry. I am swearing. I uh, I do apologize. I was swearing through the whole damn thing. No, he doesn't want to get near that dog. That dog doesn't want to get near him. Okay. No, we need to go back one, don't we? I don't know why. I, I'm, I turned off the autoplay. I don't know why this does this. Uh, and then I get some like UFC thing. I, I just don't quite get it. All right, let's bring this back. And then we're going to watch it one more time. <laughs> Instantly, it's like. <laughs> I wish that dog would have bit him. And he didn't have any problem. Jill and Joe are just like, so what? You got bit. You know, they're not nice people. No. Okay. Here are the comments. I was always told if your dog doesn't like someone, you shouldn't like them either. My uncle trained New York State Trooper K-9 units back in the 60s, 70s. He always told the troopers, trust the dog. Trust the dog. <laughs> Dogs know evil. Even the dog was saying, F Joe Biden. Dogs bark at him. Children naturally recoil away from him. And even microphones shut off when he touches them. Dogs sense evil. Duh. He says he's, he, he yes, he's saying, get away from me, you treasonous, corrupt, incompetent, incoherent, lying pedo. And take that crackhead pedo son with you. Why do you guys... You know, Hunter Biden could not resist going over to, to Ireland because it doesn't take, it takes, because I have driven from Dublin airport to the West coast of Ireland. You can drive, I mean, in, well, for me, it took all day because I got lost in the mountains. <laughs> um, but, um, I, I, I was turn, you know, driving in circles and even the guardy stopped me, you know, they're like, oh, I can't, uh, they were wondering what I was doing, you know? And I'm like, I'm lost. <laughs> I said, I've no, I've been to, I'm driving in circles. I don't know what to do. And they, I think helped me. I'm not sure. I think I passed them again and they just were like, let that dumb American broad find it herself. Pretty much. That's the way a lot of people are over there. Uh, sorry. Um, but I did eventually make it to my destination. It was during the solstice, so it did not get dark out. Um, let's see what else. So, Okay. Hunter is having a field day getting a few little Irish dancer spinners, isn't he? You think he's over there to dry out? 
And you know what? I found another video on Twitter. I don't know if I'll be able to find it again of, you're, you're not even going to, of this Zelensky guy over there in Ukraine wasted out of his mind taking his cell phone and filming himself. He sounded like, um, uh, how can I put it? Like, I just wanted to like scream and like, it would like as if he was like sexually coming on to you in a bar or something. It was really weird. Apparently he was coked up and that's been, um, you know, well, it's a rumor, you know, but the Russian people, diplomats are saying, no, this is true. We don't, we do know this, that these guys are all hyped up on, on, um, you know, amphetamines and, you know, Zelensky gets the good stuff. The thing is, is that, you know, I know that in the past, I believe have, they've given things like ProVigil um, was used in World War II for the uh, fighter pilots, apparently, according to what I've read. I cannot take anything like that. Okay. Um, good thing the dog didn't bite FJB. I see like big, huge men uh, with big, huge, like gold plated FJBs on their trucks. This ain't even funny anymore, people. That's what I'm saying. We're, we're having some issues and, um, here in this country. And I don't understand Joe's taking a vacay. That's all. Is the wife there? Is she getting fitted with Irish handmade Irish sweaters, which are hard to find now? I have two of them. Uh, I mean, real. I wanted to get another one. And when I went back to the same store I initially went to, they said that no one does that anymore. I said, oh, okay. Yes, he's okay. We said that. Good thing that dog didn't bite him. He would have to lick his butt a while to get the taste out of his mouth. Ugh. That that dog can smell stupid. Can't fool a dog. The dog knows evil. A dog, a dog knows how evil this turd is. My spirit animal. Dogs know people. Dog spelled backwards is God. Of course, he doesn't like the satanic administration. Uh, dogs know evil when they smell and see it. They're an excellent judge of character. Even the dog knows Joe Biden is a lizard. Dogs know attack, attack, attack. Most dogs know when they smell trouble. He was, he was pissed off. That dog was mad. Lizard, good boy. Animals and kids know how creepy pos types. When dogs don't like you, it says a lot. Heck, even his own dog bit him. I thought his dog bit the Secret Service. I think they just wanted to get rid of the dog. I'm sorry. I know that sounds bitchy, but I would never put down an animal unless they were really sick and suffering big ass time. You know what I mean? Not just because it's an inconvenience. You know, you take on that responsibility when you have a pet. When dogs don't like you, it's, I mean, I just feel that way about anybody or even just all human people anyways. And animals, you know, pets, if you're going to get a pet, work with the, you know, I, I adopted a, a cat and the cat was just horrible. And I, to me, it was just, it just like was, it's horrible to everybody. And I just, you know, talked to like a trainer and she gave me some tips and I went to a bookstore, bought some books on training cats. 
And let me tell you something. Um, that cat was the best well-trained animal. And I mean, she was real vocal. You know, she, she was vocal. She was vocal when she didn't like something. She would growl like a dog if she was pissed off. Well, that wasn't all the time. And then when she did that, I simply would turn my back on her. Or like I'd put her like in a room for like a minute. Not, not even, you know, like, or, you know, maybe one full minute. And I'd say, okay, are you ready to come back out now? And then, you know, it's just like if you train the cat or turn your back. And so after, you know, a good couple months of that, the cat started to learn. And I mean, all I needed to do was just, I, I a cat, I had that cat trained like a dog. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you know, you don't, cause the vet was initially afraid of the cat and said, well, she was concerned that I was going to give the cat up. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not doing that. I mean, she said it to me. I didn't even bring it up to her. She's like, wow, this is just like when dogs. Okay. So I did get her um, spayed and that she changed after that. She, um, when dogs alone, okay. Um, they were in the bathroom, the poor, um, they were in the bathroom per the big guy. I wonder if he was showering with him like he did his daughter. Dogs know a lizard in disguise. I believe dogs can see the spiritual realm, the realm that that dog can see the demons. Take your mask off, Joe. Maybe the dog will stop barking that that dog smells a skunk. Trust the dog's instinct. He was barking at a man wearing a mask whose butt's not been wiped. We could keep going. The guy comes at him in this stiff, bizarre position with these sunglasses on reflecting back at him. And he's like, what the fuck? Get away from me, fucker. That's, you know, he's not, look at him. Look at his positioning of his body. It's almost like he wants to attack the dog like he does the little children. Because everybody else has relaxed, more relaxed shoulders, except for, you know, the Secret Service. Everybody's kind of relaxed. But he's like bending forward like this weird old codger going ah! at the dog. It's just, he doesn't. All right, let's get back to GB News. Here we go. And... And there's something else I wanted to show you about Biden, too. This guy, he almost said, let's go, Brandon, on accident. Okay, listen to this, and hopefully we can get the volume. You know what? I'm going to make sure I've got the volume up just a bit, just in case. Um, sometimes this can be a little quiet. Okay, and then we're going to go like this. Okay. Biden's message to the UK is that he doesn't care about Britain. Uh, this is, uh, I think, one of the most anti-British presidents in modern US history. Uh, and Biden has behaved in extremely dismissive fashion towards uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, he is somebody, of course, who uh, seems to elevate uh, Ireland and also the European Union above the, the special relationship uh, with the United Kingdom. He's also a spectacularly rude individual lecturing the British Prime Minister over Northern Ireland and Brexit uh, policy. Uh, who does he think he is? Uh, uh, in, in the Why is he... Because I know that Obama did not want Brexit and came over there and actually gave you people a speech. You know, Joe would be back home by now. If he can spend all those days in Ireland, he can... He's just an embarrassment, but more, it's more over. He doesn't belong there. He does not 
be long there. And let me tell you something, this Kamala Harris character, she's only five feet tall. I think she might even be shorter than that. And on, on the websites, they say five one, but what she does is she uses like lifts and, and she uses positioning to make her look taller. Um, like she's worse. All right, let's keep going. Let's back it up. Towards uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, he is somebody, of course, who uh, seems to elevate uh, Ireland and also the European Union above the, the special relationship uh, with the United Kingdom. He's also a spectacularly rude individual lecturing the British Prime Minister over Northern Ireland and Brexit uh, policy. Uh, who does he think he is? Uh, uh, in, in the meantime, of course, uh, he's uh, nobbing with uh, Irish elites, including Gerry Adams, uh, of course, and uh, for many decades. Yeah, Gerry Adams, I, I have a bit of a problem with because he, if I'm not mistaken, has allowed a lot of illegal, well, I call it illegal immigration, a lot of immigration on the island that would put him in a position to get votes and support, but wouldn't be in the best interest or the desire of the Irish people. Okay, let's go. Uh, Joe Biden was a was an enthusiastic supporter of the IRA uh, terrorist movement, and so you can, you know, it's like, you know how many. Uh, so if he was a supporter of the IRA, and then the IRA blew up the boat, I know all about the stuff with regard to. I'm talking about what was the name of the best friend of um, the IRA? They blew the boat up of that Lord Mountbatten dude, right? Is that right? Yeah. Um, and I know, you know, I know all, I know the history behind that. And that guy was in Sligo, I believe, on vacation, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere off the West Coast there. And, um, um, you know, the IRA blew that boat up and that was, as the story goes with Die, you know, saying, well, you know, you looked so sad at his funeral, blah, blah, that's the guy. So, okay, let's keep going. Let's me, let me go back just a bit in case. Okay. Uh, policy. Uh, who does he think he is? Uh, uh, in, in the meantime, of course, uh, he's uh, nobbing with uh, Irish elites, including Gerry Adams, uh, of course. And uh, for many decades, uh, Joe Biden was a was an enthusiastic supporter of the IRA uh, terrorist movement. And so you can see where this is all coming from. And uh, Biden began his presidency by uh, throwing a bust of Winston Churchill out of the Oval Office, just as Barack <laughs> This is true. Of course, what they say is, well, they moved it to the British embassy. They didn't throw it out. Coming from, and Biden began his presidency by uh, throwing a bust of Winston Churchill out of the Oval Office, just as Barack Obama did before him. President Trump brought the bust back uh, and Biden uh, removed it. And uh, I have to say, I, I do think, you know, Biden is a disaster for America, is a disaster for the free world. Uh, and he is, uh, you know, treating Britain with uh, absolute uh, disdain, a uh, fundamental lack of lack of respect, uh, and of course he's kowtowing to, uh, you know, to the EU elites, uh, including those in Ireland as well. No, I wonder that contempt that you speak of, evidenced by President Biden towards towards Britain. Do you think President Biden has contempt towards everyone? That comes from his upbringing, though. If you're going to... Okay, let's go. Personally, that actually the change in Prime Minister from, of course, Boris Johnson to Liz Truss to now Rishi Sunak, that actually 
President Biden feels that he can completely walk all over Rishi Sunak. Is that fair? Yeah, and that's actually a very interesting point, Darren, because no. the Biden White House absolutely hated Maybe. Boris Johnson and they intensely disliked Liz Truss. In fact, Biden directly intervened, attacking Liz Truss's tax policies. And so Biden was part of this sort of anti-growth coalition trying to oust uh, Liz Truss because they didn't like her, her low tax. Oh, my God. <laughs> OK. A pro-economic freedom approach, which undercut, of course, the big government Americans. With regard to Rishi Sunak, I, I do think that uh, Joe Biden and his advisors view uh, Sunak as a, a somewhat, uh, I would say, you know, softer uh, leader. I, I think they, they, they do believe they can Weak. push Sunak around. Hence, uh, you have Biden lecturing Sunak over, uh, over the Windsor framework, over trying to force the DUP into what is actually a very bad deal overall. Uh, and uh, and I think that uh, they do in the White House view Sunak's Downing Street as a walkover uh, and uh, far easier to push around compared to Boris Johnson's uh, Downing Street, uh, for example. Uh, Sunak needs to stand up for Britain. He needs to stand up to Biden. He needs to tell Joe Biden, go mind his own business. It's not the role of the US president to be lecturing the British people over their own Brexit policy and Northern Ireland policy. Okay. I think that was interesting. Um, I think that was pretty good. So there was one more I wanted to show you. Um, if, oh, I didn't know it was so late. I've got to get going. I, I hate it when I say that when I'm doing these. All right. Um, Okay, Irish president moves Joe Biden around before photograph. Okay. He has no idea where he is or what he's doing. You guys, he looks like a patient I used to take care of at a nursing home. <clears throat> he looks like a nursing home patient. And don't say elder abuse. It's not elder abuse. This man is programmed a certain way. He's been there since he was sworn into office in 1970. Three, okay? He's programmed. So is the wife. They have ex and so is the son. They have expectations of uh, privilege. What a anti-Semitic ideas. I, I suppose that is relevant if you... I don't, I don't know why this has been jumping around for me. Okay. Well, okay, guys. Um, <clears throat> all right, so... You know, when they're talking about this Pentagon leaker and oh, a conspiracy theorist, what, what, what is a conspiracy theorist who shared racist memes and anti-Semitic ideas? Okay. I mean, honestly, that picture almost looks like a, a complete CGI spiel, AI spiel. Might I say this is like a false flag? 
so that we have more more freedom taken away from us. Watch that happen. Okay. All right, I'm ending the video. Hope you guys have a good day. Uh, okay.